hello guys welcome back to good tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix windows update kb5014019 or kb5013889 which is not able to update or not able to install on a windows 11 and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workarounds and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos so the first one is all about you have to run update the troubleshooter and if you don't know how to do this you just follow the instruction go over here now search for settings over here you just have to click on system over here in the system navigate to troubleshoot from here click on other troubleshooters and over here as you can see we are having windows update just go for run right now it will be detecting any kind of problems and if you're having any problems this will be fixing this out so this is the first step which you have to try out after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to restart your windows update and your background intelligent transfer service so let me wait for this one so if there is no issue then most probably you have to go to the next one so next one as i said earlier which is all about you have to restart windows update and also you have to restart your background intelligent transfer service so what do you have to do is you just have to go over here then you just have to search for services you just have to open this one now from here you just have to restart your windows update so as you can see we are having windows update so i'll be double clicking over it right now as you can see the windows update is set into automatic make sure this is set into automatic you just have to make sure this is start and go for ok and as you can see just go for restart uh, services and it will be done simultaneously you just have to search for background intelligent transfer service so right now as you can see we are having background intelligent transfer service so i'll be double click on this one right now as you can see the startup type is automatic delayed start so i'll be changing this to automatic then I just have to go for apply then I just have to go over here restart the services and what I have to do is I just have to wait then I just have to wait for it once it is done I just have to close this sorry I have to go for ok then I just have to close this and do a restart on your PC or laptop and you have to check and you will be able to update into the KB versions which I mentioned above in the title next one is all about you have to use the Microsoft Kate lock. So next one is all about you have to update into Microsoft Kate lock. So I'll be providing this link in the description so you don't have to worry. What do you have to do is just have to search for the update. So here I'll be searching KB 5014019. So I'll be searching it. When I search I'm having two updates as you can see which is for 64 and 64 bit. So here I have to download the respective one and you'll be getting an option like this. So just click on this one so that it get downloaded and you just have to install this one. You have to do simultaneously for KB5013889. You have to do for both, right? So once it is done, you just have to install and you have to see and most probably this will be completely fixed. And even after trying this, if it's not working, the next is all about you have to reset Windows update components. So what you have to do is you just have to copy some of the files, which I'll be giving in the description. So you don't have to worry. You just have to open your notepad after copying it. Now just go for paste right now these instructions will be given in the video description so you don't have to worry once it is done just go over here and go for save okay, sorry i'll go for save as now as you can see which is dot txt so what i have to do is i just have to save it i have to save it but the name should be woofix okay woofix dot woofix dot bat okay it should be woofix dot bat I should save in this form woofix.bat and also the save as should be done to all files and I have to go for I have to save this in the desktop itself okay so I'll go for save right now I did it and now I just have to check where it, it gets saved so guys right now as you can see the woofix.bat is being saved over here in the desktop and what I have to do is I just have to right click and just go for run as administrator go for yes so that some windows update will be start working over here so it will be stopping and it will be restarting by itself so we just have to wait for it so once all this is completely done once all this is completely done you just have to wait for a couple of seconds once this this is done you just have to restart your pc then you just have to go back to the update and most probably after trying this 
the issue regarding this which is about how to fix update KB504019 KB5013889 will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out